<laughs> uh, Disney characters meaning Final Fantasy characters. You don't be rude. Come on, Pluto. Yeah, you should definitely have Pluto call you over. You should have followed Pluto. This would have been really quick. But I don't blame you. Who would want to meet up with a kid with banana shoes? <laughs> Big banana shoes. <laughs> As some people would call it. Not really sanitary having your face licked by a dog. This isn't a dream. Calm down, Pluto. <laughs> but no, it's not a dream. Well, not until like the the uh, eighth game? Where am I? Or is it twelfth? Oh boy. It's the one on the three DS called Dream Drop Distance. Are? Until then, everything else is real, sort of. Hey! Well, Chain of Memories would have a word with that, but I'll, I'll explain that later, too. <laughs> Plus, Zora, what do you expect uh, What do you expect the dog to tell you exactly? That, oh, I know exactly who you are. Or that you're the... You're, you're a part of a convoluted story that will very much never get explained until, like, the 6th, the 12th game in it... The 10th game in its series. Even then, it'll spend most of its time explaining stuff in different versions of itself. So I can't blame can't blame you for not believing not asking a dog for that. This is totally weird. I'm in another world. To some degree you're in a new world. Uh, this place, Traverse Town, is basically the hub for anything that gets their world sucked up and destroyed. Place okay. Why is this uh why is that the case? Uh, the, the. Huh. Interesting. Hmm. Hmm. I wonder if we will get magic. Huh. Anyway. Yeah. Well, let's let's just move on. Um. Hello. Uh. This town is divided into three districts. This is the first district. Okay. So I have to go to another district or something. Send ten postcards to win something. Okay. Um. Item shop. Hey, maybe this place will have some type of information that I need. Uh, in charge. I'm in charge of keeping the shop clean. It's easier than your than our bedroom. Welcome. Are you looking to buy something? I'm here to shop. Let's see. Uh. Okay then. Never mind. I got nothing to sell. Never mind. But yeah, this is the shop location. This is, um... I handpicked everything of these shells. We carry only the best. Uh, we're... We're gonna earn enough money. That's the currency of this world. Here to go on our adventure. On our own adventure. Okay. Then where's Scrooge, then? Where's, uh, Scrooge McDuck? Because he's a part of the DuckTales. Woo! Uh, nah, nah. I know that's not their official name, but... That's something that, uh, what do you call it, that I'm, I'm surprised they don't really make mention much of. It's like, well, that, that cartoon series was interesting, and it did well enough. If you think they, uh, have Scrooge be from that timeline. To some degree, he sort of is, but we don't see him yet. Or at all. In certain cases. Depending on how you look at it. But, okay, here we go. Here's a place we can both save and talk with someone. Hey there, how can I... Oh, it, oh it's only a kid. I'm not a kid. The name's Sora. Okay, simmer down. So why the long face, Sora? You lost something? You lost or something? Well, no. Well, maybe. Where are we? Huh? Traverse Town. So, Gramps, is this really another world? Don't call me Gramps. The name's Sid. Anyway, not sure what you're talking about, but this sure ain't your island. Guess I better start looking for Riku and Kairi. Well, good luck with whatever it is you're doing. If you ever run into trouble, you you come to me. I'll look out for you. Okay, thanks, Sid. Uh, I think I know which Final Fantasy game you're from. I think it's either 8... No, no. I think it's 7. No, I know not 7. I think it's either 6... No, not 6. Okay, it, it's one of the ones near 7. It's like 8 or 9, I believe. Or 10. 
I think, I believe. Uh, if you can't find your bodies, I'll take care of you. Okay, thanks. I really do appreciate that, Sid. Seriously, it's like... It's nice to see somebody supportive here. Um... Hmm. Let's see, um... Yeah, I think I need to go around the place and look around before anything progresses, I believe. I believe so, at least. Um... Hmm. Hey, Koopo. This is Items wor Workshop. Koopo, we're researching item synthesis and super weapon forging. Okay. Uh, the door leads to beyond that is lies the third district. Okay. Cool. Cool to know. It looks locked. It looks locked. Yeah. For some reason, I can't unlock it, I think. Or not yet, I guess. I don't know. But uh, maybe I go through here. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I'm supposed to be doing this type of stuff. Whoa. That's like the first time I've ever seen that happen. Uh, like, like that's like the first time we ever see that happen and ever happen again. It's those creatures from the island. They are what we call uh, dark flabby things. Nah, I'm just kidding. They have a specific name. Uh, I guess I could name drop it now, but uh, just give me a minute. Maybe not. Like it really kind of doesn't matter. They'll tell you it in a minute or so. It depends on where you go or how you can find your way around. Like, you see, that's what I mean. Like, when I was thinking, like, oh, I've been spoiled on the ability to draw items closer to you. For Pete's sakes, it's like, oh, man, I miss that little concept and idea. Wish, I wish I could do it more, but whatever. Okay, calm down. Don't make me smack you. I will bl I will bludgeon you with this key. And by the way, yes, I'm bludgeoning them with a key because even though the this is supposed to be a key blade of sorts, you know, a blade. Um, at least in concept idea, I understand like oh, it's a blade, so uh, it's supposed to be sharp. To some degree, I can understand that, especially with the little prongs at the end of the key, like those little things. Uh, since they're technically a little bit thinner than the actual blade, it's than the rest of the blade. I think like that's supposed to be the sharp part that's supposed to cut, right? No, no, no. Sora actually just straight up uses the blunt end of the thing. Like literally, as you can see, it arcs to where you don't use the three prong, the four prongs at the end of the key at all. It's like, dude, if if you're trying to make it so that way you you know. You're able to use this as a blade. Maybe you should use the sharper little prongs at the end and use them against, you know, the enemies you're trying to kill or fight. I don't know. It feels like that should be the case, but I understand why they don't do it that way, or maybe it's just animational stuff, or they just don't care, or it's stylized. I don't know. At least when you're in a battle stance, it looks like the key is technically right side down, so that way it looks cool, I guess. I, I have no idea. I don't know. I honestly don't know. Ah, uh, there we go. Leon! Mr. Leon! Where are you? And there we go. You have to do this a couple of number of times before you get to move on. Okay, real quick. Potions and rotions and motions. There we go. Another pretty stone. I think that's used for synthesis, I believe, or something synthesis. Uh, the thing the Moogle was talking about before. Because that'll be very uh, main, uh, what do you call it? Uh, something you're gonna need in l in the late in later in the game. 
At least that's something you need to do later in the game, at least. So keep those things in mind, I guess. Depends on how you look at it, really. Okay, I was thinking, like, are they come? Like, are they gonna spawn? Okay. Go through here, Jesus. Huh. Oh yeah, right. I was thinking, like, uh, did I enter through the wrong room? No, no, I didn't. I wasn't supposed to go here yet, though. I think. Nine Nine Puppies were lost amid the chaos of their world's destruction. Find them in various worlds. So yeah, that's something you have to do. You have to look for the 101 Dalmatians. Dalmatians? Uh, only 99 of them though. Not all 100 for some reason. Uh, the reason why they're 99 is that they're all in boxes of threes. So uh... So I guess if you can't find them, uh, well, that's the reason. Or, you know, like, if you're trying to find all of them, uh, I'm guessing that's why they said not to find all 101, because they thought, eh, we're not gonna be able to fit, like, these all 101 in smaller boxes, so we're gonna have to do three by three. So, let's just stick it to 99, because we couldn't make, uh, 100. <laughs> 101 a third of a number. Hey, you could have gone with the 102 Dalmatians uh, little thing where it's like, okay, now we have to... Okay, there's 102 Dalmatians, so it's technically a sequel. Uh, oh, man. It's kind of weird to think that the Dalmatians had a 102 two movie sort of thing situation, where it's like both, uh, both the live action and the animated versions had a uh, two movie sort of thing. It's like, it's kind of interesting to think about like that. Because it's like uh, 101 Dalmatians, 102 Dalmatians, the sequel. That sounds interesting, but at the same time it's like, huh, I'm wondering how that works. Okay, there we go, Jesus, go down already. Stay down. Okay. Okay, I think I think this progresses the story. I think, hopefully. Okay, maybe it doesn't. I know you're supposed to get back here. You're supposed to get back here when um, you're done with uh, some of the stuff in the other districts, I believe. Hmm. Okay, maybe I'm wrong. Okay, let's go up this time. Okay, I'm not supposed to go here yet. That's the thing. I'm supposed to be here, but just not yet. I, I forget which way to go, how to do it exactly. There's a specific way of sort of doing it, but it's like, eh, it's a little bit confusing. First, uh, actually, let's go in through the same way they came out of. Let's see how this works. There we go. I was just there. I was just there, you two. The uh, three closed uh, Komodo Shapoto second district. Um, how about up here? Uh, do I go through here? Because like, okay, good. Where is he, Leon? Okay. <laughs> Take that. And that. I got you airborne. Uh, you can catch enemies airborne if you want. It depends on how well you do it. Or whether or not they're just jumping. Kingdom Hearts 1's combat is not the best, I will admit. It, it's fine for what it's worth. It's just like Kingdom Hearts 2 and onward. I think Kingdom Hearts... Uh, and I say that because, you know, Kingdom Hearts... Uh, Three Chain of Memories isn't what you expect it to be. It depends on your feelings towards it, really. But, uh, as combat, if we count this combat only, Kingdom Hearts 2, I feel as if it's the best that does that. 
like the best that does combat in that game and it's like Kingdom Hearts uh, 3. Point, wait no the third game looks off the walls crazy good so it's like oh boy I can't wait to actually play that game because I want to oh come on it doesn't look that bad um okay okay I'm just checking like a thing like huh, isn't this the yeah that's the Dalmatians house some reason you can go from there to there. Okay, I think. I think now I can go up. Like, I think I now can activate the thing that happens in the first tri district. Uh, you'll see what I mean once we get there. On the road again. I can't wait to get on the road again. I can't wait to get seen with my friends. <laughs> Calm down, Sora. I was just singing a song. Like the moon. Yeah, well, you made him sad thinking about his friends with that song. <laughs> okay, let's not sing a song about friends, I guess. Um. Oh, shit. <laughs> uh. Or maybe just simple and clean is the way you want me to miss you tonight. There we go. Okay, I'll stop killing Heartless after these two. Okay, there we go. Okay, that's it. Okay, now I'll just keep moving on. No, I'm not dealing with you guys. Okay, what you... Haha, gotcha! Little buggers. Okay, maybe I have to do this. Okay, there's got to be a way to do this, right? Okay, let's just um, save here real quick. Okay, there's a way to do this. I know there's a way to do this. Wait, hold up. I did not see that there, but I saw it at the corner of my eye and I wanted to grab it. They'll come at you out of nowhere. Oh. Who are you? Oh, okay. And they'll keep on coming at you. As long as you continue to wield the keyblade. I was like wondering how did it get you out of here? But why? Why would it choose a kid like you? Hey, what's that supposed to mean? Never mind. Now, let's see that keyblade. What? There's no way you're getting this. Why do you care about it all of a sudden? All right. Yeah, it's able to kill stuff, but Oh look, it's Leon from Final Fantasy VIII. I know that because everyone hates that game. Or at least hates him from that game. I don't know. Like, the thing with Final Fantasy is that you either love it, you hate it, or you just think it's too easy, depending on how you look at it. Like, I'll admit, I never played Final Fantasy VIII. The only Final Fantasy I remember playing some vague remembrance of is Final Fantasy VII. Uh, but that's about it, really. Anyway, the thing he's carrying right now, sorry, I gotta pause it so that way it keeps up, is a gun blade. It's basically a revolver with a pistol. It's basically a revolver pistol mixed with a blade or a knife or a giant blade. Uh, it's supposedly supposed to do more damage if you use it as a... It's supposed to like be able to fire bullets and do more damage to, if you do something specific with it in the game. But I don't know. That, that's as far as I know. Take that! 
Okay, you can flinch him. It's just harder to do, I guess. Oh, you're supposed to parry him. Right. Okay, I forget how to do this. Technically, this is a fight you're not supposed to win. But it's not a fight you can't... You, you can win either way. For Pete's sakes! Take this! Oh, I wanted to do a backswing on him. So technically, you beat him, but... That... <laughs> Yeah, to be fair, I had to use two oh, potions for that fight, so... Leon? Like, you were supposed to lose that fight either way, so... Oh, there's T... I uh, went wait. easy on him. <laughs> it's Yuffie. Like things are worse than we thought. A lot worse. <laughs> I almost called her Tifa, and that would have upset a few people. Mainly because, technically, Yuffie is not in... Like, Tifa's not in this game, yet. Just like another character that's not in this game, I'm surprised that they added him slash them later on. Like at 2, Jesus Christ, it's like, you, you'd think they'd add them a little bit sooner. Like in the first game, it's like, oh, no-brainer, but no, 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 that's not the case. Also, I think this is an added cutscene, because they, they added more cutscenes to this. Where am I? Yeah, it's definitely an added cutscene, because they couldn't get the voice actor to voice this, because, well, they were younger at the time, and I'm pretty sure their voices changed. Where am I? Sora! Kyrie! Oh yeah, that's the thing about these, uh, the Final Mix versions. They updated not only the graphics, but they also added in a lot of other story bits that were either, uh, not really shown in, in the first game ever, but they decided to add them here to add more story, or There's nobody here. just because sure they could. Spooky. So I don't know. Excuse me, did the king send you? Ah, uh, you. I know of you, and I heard about you. Who, boy? <laughs> Have I heard about you? bum, wake up! I'm not a bum. You okay? Uh, I guess. Those creatures that attacked you are after the Keyblade. But it's your heart they really want. Because you wield the Keyblade. Very strong, I'm so heartless. I'm glad that you're okay, Kyrie. Kyrie? Who are you talking about? I'm the great ninja Yuffie. Yeah, there we go, Yuffie. I think you might have overdone it, Squall. Yeah. Or Leon, depending on how you ask. That's Leon. The Keyblade. Yeah, we had to get it away from you to shake off those creatures. It turns out, that's how they were tracking you. It was the only way to conceal your heart from them. But it won't work for long. Still, hard to believe that you, of all people, are the chosen one. Chosen one. <gasps> chosen one. Well, I suppose beggars can't be choosers. You really Why don't can't. You start making sense. What's going on here? That's <laughs> the mouth movements okay. there. You know there are many other worlds out there besides your castle in this town, right? Yeah. Well, they're supposed to be a secret. They've been secret because they've never been connected until now. Yeah. When the heartless came, everything changed. There we go, the heartless. The heartless? Yeah. The ones who attacked you, you remember? They're without hearts. Those without hearts. Yeah, not creative, but darkness in people's hearts. That's what attracts. They're not them. bad names. And there is darkness within every heart. Hey, have you heard of someone named Ansem? Oh boy, have I! I am Sam. <laughs> the pause He's there. The heartless. <laughs> he recorded all of his findings in a very detailed report. Ugh. Gorge. Oh, can we see it? Um, its pages are scattered everywhere. Scattered. Yeah. Too many worlds. Oh, then maybe the king went to find them. Well. Yes, those were my thoughts exactly. I think so. We've got to find them quick. Run. Huh. 
That's right. <laughs> that, that's kind of funny. Keyblade. So this is the key. Exactly. And it's a blade. The heartless have great fear of the keyblade. That's why they'll keep coming after you, no matter what. Well, I didn't ask for this. The he really didn't. Chooses its master, and it chose you. <laughs> so tough luck. <laughs> How did all this happen? I remember being in my room. <gasps> Wait a minute. What happened to my home? My island? Riku? Kyrie? You know what? I really don't know. Yeah, to be fair. What happened to Riku and Kyrie is kind of a bit mixed, considering that, oh god, like, it, it'd be really confusing. So I don't blame Leon or Squall for not knowing. Because he, he, if you did tell him what happened, he'd kind of not be able to follow that either. But yay, Ansem got name dropped here. Oh boy. It looks like it's locked. Oh man. Anyway, let's see. How are you doing, Yuffie? Uh, I've heard, I've heard that the, the Keyblade can open all sorts of locks. Give it a try next time you find a treasure chest or door lock or door lock. Are you fucking kidding me? <laughs> really? It it just took her saying, "Oh, the keyblade can unlock any lock." I understand it's a skeleton key, and you should be told that. But it's like you think he'd think, "Oh, well, maybe this key would work." No, but I, okay, that's just dumb. But whatever, whatever. To give Yuffie more credit, I guess. Look, in all honesty, I don't know anything about Yuffie or Leon too well. That's why I won't judge them too hard. I'm judging them based on their game, and so far, Yuffie's alright. And so is Leon, as far as I can tell. He seems like a try-hard emo, but he actually cares. Especially Kingdom Hearts 2, because he does show he cares. <laughs> There's one character I know of that's technically not badly represented, it's just that everyone thinks of him that way. And we'll get to him when we get to him, because he's in this game, unlike anyone else from Final Fantasy 7 apparently <laughs> well not really like that's the weird thing I find it's like you think more Final Fantasy 7 characters would be here and some of them are like the other person we saw but it's like Tifa isn't here and um, uh, Baron right what's his name right I think that's his name it's the guy with the machine gun for a hand I think his name is Baron right well the point is those guys those guys aren't in this game anywhere and it's like uh, you'd think they'd be like they have more of them anywhere but eh, apparently not uh, so uh, I just want to talk real quick so anyway sooner or later the heartless will find you you best prepare yourself prepare myself prepare yourself prepare yourself I think I can handle myself <laughs> Uh, that's a little reference there, or just like uh, something. Eh, you figure out what it meant. <laughs> uh, to fight your, to fight for your life. Are you ready? I'm ready. You feel? Let's go join Aerith. Okay, there we go. Uh, like I was wondering, what was her name again? It was Aerith, right? Oh yeah. Speaking of Aerith, I know of her. I know she's from Final Fantasy VII because of uh, the thing. Look, if you don't know about the uh, the thing that happens in Final Fantasy VII. I won't say much, because technically at this point, everyone should know it because it's been spoiled on the internet. But I won't talk about it, at least through this game. Just in case. So, there you go. But, oh boy. Ooh, man. She should be there by now with the other visitors. Leon! Ah, there we go. Let's go. Oi. They were so close to meeting here. <laughs> uh, Donald Duck um, stick on wall. Don't worry. Don't bother with the small fry. Find the leader. Let's go. Well, thanks for leaving me behind with the small fry. Help. 
Okay. There we go. Perfect. Okay, yeah. So money can come in a few... Uh, all these types of things, like the orbs and money, and the health orbs can come in different sizes. Some of them are worth more depending on what you kill and defeat. So, you know, if you see a big uh, money orb or a big health orb, it gives you more of that. So, keep that in mind, I guess. Come on, I'm right here. Ah ha ha, I teched ya. I think that's what it's called, right? Teching? Or at least in this game. It was like... Because, like, whenever it does come up on screen, whenever I do parry something, it does say, like, you get a tech point or something like that. I'm pretty sure. At least that's what I'm assuming. I know I could be wrong. In all honesty, I might be wrong. But those points, I'm not sure if they go to anything other than just EXP. But you can get them in combat, so it's, it's fine, I guess. Take that. 3P. <laughs> 3P. It's like 3 AXP points. So these guys are 3 worth of what the smaller little guys are worth. Oh, Jesus. Okay, yeah, it's tech. Okay, yeah, so yeah, it is tech. Yeah, I was, for, for those of you wondering, I was trying to actually do that just because I wanted to see it. I know that wasted time, but I don't care. I will ignore this next batch because, well, I really don't need to go here. I don't need to fight them. Leon did say don't worry about the small fries, but and it's like it's free EXP, so I kind of want to not ignore them. I kind of want to just kill them all. First church is secure. If you run into trouble, come back here. Okay. I'll head into the town square just because it's safer, I guess. I, I don't know. Uh, there's a reason why I need to go into the middle, I think. Huh. Hmm. Hmm. Uh, oh wait, I know, I know where, I know where, you know, uh, I need to meet with Goofy and the others. Or why I need to meet someone. It's all clear, but I don't know about the third district. Well, I wish I could go to the third district, but I can't. Oh, hey, Aerith. So you're the Keyblade Master. Please, please be careful. Okay, thank you for that. She's a mage, basically, or a healer class type of character in her game. So, yeah. Uh... Where was that? High potion and, um... This is really difficult for me to navigate sometimes. Okay, restores. Okay, I'll equip that later. For now, let's just do that. Okay, I'm stocked. I'm good. Um, um, where do I go? That's like a big question of mine. Where do I go? Um, quick question. Where do I go? <laughs> That's always a big question for everyone to ask, especially in Kingdom Hearts. Where the hell do we go? 
I think I remember where to go. I think. I think he think with my think think think. Uh, that's a Winnie the Pooh reference, just in case if anyone's wondering, because like, like I'm pretty sure some people have heard that before. But yeah, I'm supposed to go here, I think? Maybe? Well, it's all quiet, so I'm guessing that is the case. Yeah, here it is, here it is, here we go. This is where we're supposed to go. Pretty much. Okay, what happened? Did those things explode, or did you guys kill them by exploding? And here it is. The first team fight we'll ever be in. Well, it's it's one of a few dozen we're gonna be in. But here's the big team fight we're in. You know, I'd be a little bit scared of like the dog and the um, duck that have a wand and a shield. But at the same time, I'm not gonna bother because that's not bad. But oh boy. Okay, you can actually see their stats just looking at the top right of their icons. Goofy has more health, Donald has more magic. But oh boy, uh, Donald's HP is not great. Especially his options for protection and stuff. Oh boy. Okay, this thing, whatever this thing is. Oh. Oh, thanks, whoever did that. I think that might have been Donald or Goofy. And... And Donald's down. Okay, maybe it's Goofy. But, yeah. Donald, um... Yeah, there, there's this uh, running trend in Kingdom Hearts, um... Which is kind of a bit uh, mean, depending on who you look at it. Uh, Donald in this game isn't the best, but he's not terrible. At least to me, he is not. I don't know, I've, I've always had Donald as a support class character who's uh, supposed to be squishy. But I understand, like, he's not the best when he comes to surviving too long. But I, I never have an issue with him. There we go. Now focus on the body. Focus on the body, it's all in the mind. There we go. Take that. Cut. <laughs> and cut. That's a wrap. No, I'm just kidding. Whatever this thing is, it's definitely going to be a pain in the butt to deal with later on. You'll see what I mean later. But that was a heartless boss, everyone. A bit of a weird one, but interesting enough. Brave Warrior. You lying from the north. So, you were looking for me? <gasps> they too have been seeking the wielder of the Keyblade. Hey, why don't you come with us? We can go to other worlds on our vessel. I wonder if I could find Riku and Kairi. Of course! Are you sure? Who knows? But we need them to come with Seems a little mean. Sora, go with them. Especially if you want to find your friends. Well, to be fair, we do find our yeah, friends, so. I guess. Yeah, it makes sense. Yeah, you gotta look funny. Like us. <laughs> Well, happy. Kind of hard to feel that. <laughs> uh, <laughs> yeah, I don't blame you. 
To be fair, the graphics don't make you look better, kid. <laughs> okay, why not? I'll go with you guys. Name's Goofy. No last name needed. All for one, one for all. Apparently his name is Goof. His last name, at least for Goofy. It's like, his name is literally Goofy Goof. That's it. That little squirt took down that heartless. Who'd have thought it? Such is the power of the Keyblade. The child's strength is not his own. Can you tell who these Why villains are? turn him into a heartless? <laughs> That'll settle things quick enough. And the black friends of a king's lackeys. Swap all the eyes. They're all built rats by the look of them. You're no prize yourself. <laughs> Shut up. Enough. The Keyblade has chosen him. Will it be he who conquers the darkness? Well. Or will the darkness swallow him? Well, to be fair. Either way, he could be quite useful. To be fair to Sora, the darkness gets really, really complicated, so I can't blame him for doing that. Make sure you're prepared for your journey ahead of you. We don't know how far the Heartless spread. Check out the shops here. They got some pretty useful, neat stuff. This is all from us. Spend it as you see it. And this is from Leon. Elixir. Thanks, Leon. Good luck. Hope you find your friends. Look out for each other. Keep your spirits up. <sighs> the gummy ship is just outside the gate. Or outside that gate. Okay. So we just go through there. Uh, okay. Okay. Then what? That's our ship? The what? That's our ship. Oh, okay. Wait till you see it. Hold on. Sora, this is for you. Okay, I got a magic spell. Fire. Now you can use magic, too. Goofy, give him the other thing. What? You know. Oh, yeah. Dodge roll. Okay. Abilities allow you to do all sorts of things. Guess we should look for him along the way. Okay, is that it? Get, let's go. Let's get ready. Let's get going. Now, not till we're ready. Well, I see big adventures coming their way. Looks like it's all up to me to keep track of it all in my journal. Uh, hold up. Let me, um, chronicle, Sora story. You guys can read that if you want. You can literally read that if you want. I'm not going to spend the time to read all of this. Just a few things, maybe, d depending. But, uh, real quick. So, yeah, Jiminy just basically chronicalizes every character, every single, like, enemy, slash people you'll meet. It depends on how they look at it. I think in uh, Kingdom Hearts, um, 2, yeah, 2, it does these types of things better where it shows you, like, uh, like, how these characters come about. And here it is, Final Fantasy VIII. Yuffie, Final Fantasy VII. Okay, maybe he, she was from Final Fantasy VII. Huh, I could have sworn you were from VIII. Or maybe you were, maybe I forgot. In all honesty, I can't remember Final Fantasy VII that well either, so... Uh, ooh. Yes, I could have sworn... Yeah, I knew for a fact, Sid was the one I was kind of confused on. I was thinking, like, is he from Seven? Because I could have sworn he was from Seven. But, but then I started to second guess myself and say eight, six, all those other numbers are like, oh no. Okay, you're from ten. You're from eight. Okay, you're from eight. You're from ten. And yeah, just Final Fantasy, the series itself. Or Final Fantasies? I don't know. The Moogles are a race of creatures that just basically are shopkeepers in this series. Although they're a bit different in each of the installments of the Final Fantasy series. Depends. Okay, let's see. Shadows. These are the main enemies. We defeated a lot of them. Soldiers. They're a lot tougher than shadows. And there's a lot of other uh, Heartless going around. Okay, what? Oh, right. Dark side. The big, enormous Heartless we fought. And guard armor. The other Heartless we fought. Okay, so that's it, really. Anyway, I, I guess that's it, really. First, um, let me save. And then let me see if there's anything in the shops to buy. Hey, look at this mark. 
I wonder what it is. This is a Trinity Mart. They appear in many places, only the blue ones react in the beginning. Sword Dog Doofy can perform various Trinity moves besides moves beside these marks. Hmm. Okay. So yeah, that's something you have to keep in mind, I guess. Um if you perform certain Trinity uh, abilities, it depends on how you use them. So, later on in the game, we'll be able to perform other Trinity moves, like uh, we'll be able to react to the blue ones, we'll be able to react to the red ones, all that stuff. Regular attacks, offensive magic, uh, frequently defensive magic, okay. Uh, okay. Okay, Goofy, um... Uh, okay. Yeah, by the way, that's something you can do. You can augment, uh, Sora, uh, no, Donald and Goofy's AI, so that way they can do certain things, like... Oh, don't use health items a lot, Donald. Only use them in emergencies. Or you could do that with Goofy, depending. It really all depends on whether or not you give them stuff or whether or not you uh, have anything else you want to give them, sort of thing. You know, it depends. It really all depends. Uh, hmm. Raising my HP and attack? Yeah, of course. Sorry, Donald. Nothing for you or Goofy. Let me check my... Uh... uh I kind of want the dodge roll, but I don't have enough uh, HP. And I want the sliding dash because I want to get closer to my enemies. Okay. Yeah, okay. All you really have to do whenever they say to, like, you know, activate your magical shortcuts, you can always access the magic through the magic bar, but to quickly get them, you press down on the left bumper, the L1 button, and you press it down, and then you press one of the face buttons, uh, triangle, square, X, mainly because, you know, circles, jump, press triangle, X, square, X in order to activate one of your spells. Okay, cool. I'm pretty sure that reactivates react something up top, but unfortunately, eh, I can't really do anything about that. Anyway, anyway, let's just move on, I guess. Huh. Okay, there is a blue trinity over here, I think, right? Yeah, here we go. We can at least activate this or do something with it. Okay, each trinity usually does something different, and each of the trinities that we unlock will have a Donald, Sora, and Goofy do something different each time. For example, you just saw us do a stomp right there. Uh, sometimes uh, they'll do something like, oh, hey, we're going to do a uh, jump attack or something like or we're going to stack up on each other, or we're going to charge together, sort of thing. So it depends on what you do and how it works. Cottage. So, you know, it really all depends on how you, uh, which trinities you're going to go after. But you'll unlock the ability to use the actual trinities later on in the series. Like, later, later on, when we actually get past, um, like, the earlier parts of the game. Yeah. This uh, cottage is basically like a save point, except it's not. It, it allows you to fully heal up your AP and MP if you're out in the field without a save point nearby. So it's useful for that, at least, you know, so, you know, you could use that. But anyway, I think I'm going to stop here, at least for now. It's a little bit longer than I usually do, but it's something that I want to do. Because, well, I need to, I need to rest my throat, slash I need to go get a drink, slash... I'm pretty sure I'm, I'm going to stop here for now. So, anyway, guys, yeah, that's the end of Kingdom Hearts, and oh boy. In the next part, I guess we're going to be going off to New Worlds with with Donald and Goofy. Well, this is going to be an interesting little experience. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this series so far. Hopefully I can get it out before Kingdom Hearts 3 finally comes out, or maybe the first episode, I'm not sure. But anyway, I'll see you all next time for the next video. Until then, sign on my bots. Take care.